Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing great because of the typhoon. But here in the Philippines, I want you to know that we had a three kinds of typhoon that we experienced in just more or less one month. Because we had the first one, we had the typhoon Kinta. For the second one, we had the typhoon Rodi. For the third one, we had the typhoon Ulysses. So, um, as you can see, of course, Philippines has been suffered. Especially in Bicol, because I am here in Bicol, Region 5, and I actually, I was actually excited to do this kind of content, because however, I want you to help, if ever, I'm not wishing, but according to what I have heard, or what I have read recently, there there are four more typhoons that's, that we are going to experience here in the Philippines before end of this year. So I want you to prefer with this kind of advice or that's why I created this video. So let's jump on. Let's now talk about the do's and don'ts. First, if you want to save your gadgets, let's say for example your laptop, your monitor right that you use in school so what about your any gadgets oh, we're talking about the gadgets that we are using especially now in pandemic the educational tools that we need your printer your mouse everything especially in school i am concerned about that even not in school and the house, of course. If you think your area is so floody area, you know, and the flash flood is very dangerous because it, within two or three minutes, it will go up and then eventually you cannot save your gadgets, your things, just for yourself for you to survive. Okay, so what do, what do you really need to do to avoid that kind of... Uh, you know, another problem. How are we going to save our gadgets? First, if you have a monitor, the big one, you should have, it might be rude, but it's a, uh, it's very helpful for me because I had been using it before. I had been doing that before. I used to bought the trash bag, the big one, because a little bit thicker than the small one, the white one, or okay, whatever. So you should, if you want to buy that, the big trash bag, right? The big one, the garbage, and oh no, I'm talking about the garbage, garbage bag. So it should be, there are sizes, so what do you prefer? If it's big, then do it. So before the typhoon, the day before, you should your printer everything in there and then put it in this flat surface okay and then make sure that uh, it's really if in the school so you should uh, do not trust that oh this is um, this is safe this is safe do not uh, just trust have a take you have to take 100 responsibilities especially nowadays so that if that happened you are not supposed to blame anybody else what if your phone is looking like this after the typhoon. Okay, actually this is my old phone. So I'm planning to bring this to repairman. But I'm kind of busy and then I had an idea to put a mod on it. Okay, for the sake of your, for the sake of how I'm going to teach you some technique. Okay guys, so I want to warn you that if you want to dry up your gadgets, you are not supposed to use a hair dryer. Okay? It is a no, no. You know why? Because if you use the dryer, it's actually not drying up. Really? Okay. So what happened is that when you use the it can create moisture. Of course, this is uh, hot, right? It can produce hot air for you to dry up your hair. And then also, this has a very special button, which is the blue color. If you press this one from hot, 
it will become cold water. I, I mean, sorry, cold air. So, of course, you're going to ask me if Amber can I use that? No. Okay? Unless I'm going to teach you some tips later. Okay? Never use a dryer. Even there's a cold option in there. Okay? Never use it. I'm going to teach you some tips that can really help you to save your gadgets. Well, I'm gonna tell you again, it depends on how how long the phone has been into the water. Let's say for example, one minute. Because if, if, if ever the gadget has been for 24 hours, it was soaked there, soaked there for a long time. Well, it depends. Some gadgets is very... It was sealed, so it was um, it was a process that is very tight. It because there's unless there's a hole, some of the manufactured sealed it very tight, and the water cannot penetrate right away. Well, it depends on the brand, but basically in this video, I want to teach you what you are supposed to do. To save your gadget. And yes, one of the things that I want you to warn about that, of course, you are not supposed to plug it in, okay? If it's still working, <laughs> that's no no. You are not supposed to do that because you're in danger. So make sure that your gadget is clean again. So let's jump on. So if your phone is like this, okay, so all you have to do is wipe it. Okay, so you have to wipe it first. Okay, you have to wipe the surface. See, then do this one. Using the rug with it. it's wet, of course. It's wet. Okay. okay. Then you have to use the. This one. You have to use the dry. The dry. Like what I said a while ago, you are not supposed to, once you're done doing this one, you're not supposed to plug it in because it's dangerous. Okay, so we're done. Okay, then of course you have to remove. Okay, so pretend that uh, it's already wet. Okay, so you really have to do this. Wipe, wipe. See, you have to wipe it. So you have to separate okay we're going to use the rice why rice Amber why are you going to use or why, why do we need to use rice because rice has the ability to absorb the moisture okay so it's better if it's here okay so we have to do it first I hope you can see it 
use the Tupperware, okay? And if you're going to ask me, Amber, can I still cook the rice after I use this? Of course, you can still cook it. Kasi di ba, you, are go you can still, you need to wash it before cooking. So, yes, why not? And of course, this one. Okay, this is what you need to do before plugging it. It's not good if after you, after you clean up, okay? So, clean up and then you want to plug it out, plug it in. It's not good to that outlet, it's not good, it's really dangerous. Okay, this is what, this is the right thing you need to do. Okay, so, if your phone, you already, you already wipe it with wet towel. Of course, it's wet. Oh, and then use the towel, the right one. So this is the this is the next thing that you need to do. So yeah, of course you need the cover. Why? So that it will absorb. It will absorb within that within that uh, area. Only this only on this area. The moisture will by the rice is the only thing and then if you have the what do you call that cell cell gel or silicone something like that that you can found in your if you buy the new shoes right so you can still use that to because to absorb the moisture also and then do the same thing always put on this container okay and also what else do I need to so of course you will ask me how long it will take without opening it just let it stay there so you have to stay your phone there together with your the battery up to 24 hours up to 48 hours so that will be two days okay so i hope you learn from this video okay and thank you so much for watching